Hi guys, welcome once again to New Year Cooking. Chinese New Year is approaching and for a Chinese family, it is very important to have a bowl of soup to complete the dinner. So today I'm going to show you how to prepare lotus root soup with peanuts. This soup is delicious, it's healthy, simple to prepare as well and it's significant for the Chinese New Year. Now let me show you the ingredients because I'm going to explain to you why this soup is significant for the Chinese New Year. For this recipe, I'm using one liter of water. For the soup base here, I have some pork ribs. So if you don't eat pork uh, or you would prefer different meat like chicken or my favorite anchovies, just use it, it's okay. Uh, but normally for this soup, we usually use pork. And uh, just to add some flavors to the soup base, I'm also using two pieces of uh, dried squid. And to add some sweetness, we have some red dates here. So remember to remove the seeds. And now we move on to the star of the, uh, the soup and that is the peanuts which represents wealth and lotus roots which represents abundance. So that is why this soup is always very popular during Chinese New Year. Now let's begin cooking. So let's start with boiling this pot of water. Okay, I have the pork ribs and with just a bit of hot water, I'm just going to rinse this pork ribs. And after a few seconds, we are going to pour this away. As for the lotus roots, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut it into slices. I will usually cut the skin away because there's some still some dirt there. And uh, I find it easier if I cut the skin away when it is in little slices like this. Because of the lotus roots, it, it is uh, in very weird, uh, awkward shape. Uh, it's usually very difficult for me to cut the skin away. So I usually cut them into little slices first and then work on them. Just soak it into a bowl of water and just give it a quick rinse. Finally, the water is starting to boil. So with my super chopsticks, I'm going to put the pork in. And then the dried squid along with the red dates to add some sweetness and peanuts for wealth, lots of wealth and of course abundance by the lotus roots. There you go, so after this there's really nothing much to do because we're going to let this boil and once this starts boiling, we're going to bring it to very low heat and let it simmer for at least one and a half hours to uh, two to three hours, it's really up to you. I like to keep my soup for at least about two and a half hours because then the soup is really infused with the sweetness from the uh, pork ribs and then the saltiness from the dried squid. Mmm, so nice, especially when the weather is so cold right now in Germany, this bowl of soup is really, really delicious, it's marvelous. So I'm gonna let this sit down for um, two hours at least and then I'll come back and show you how it is like later. It's already two and a half hours and my soup is ready. Now, uh, while boiling the soup, you can taste it from time to time. And if you find that it's not salty enough for your liking, feel free to add some salt, but try to cut down on the salt because the uh, dried squid has already some saltiness in it. So let's look at our soup now. I have a very delicious bowl of lotus root and peanut soup and I can't wait to dig in. It's really cold at the moment here in Germany. So uh, let's try. Let's smell first. I can smell the um, peanuts in the soup. It's quite strong. Mm. It's, it's so comforting to have a nice bowl of soup, especially when, you know, it has so many different types of ingredients like the peanuts and the, the pork together with this uh, red dish which carries some sweetness. It's just so smoothing, so homely. 
I'm going to finish my bowl of soup here. Meanwhile, do not forget to subscribe to Nyonya Cooking and then of course uh, you can communicate with me through Twitter, Facebook or even in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you or else send me pictures of recipes that you have tried. And till the next video, I wish you a very happy Chinese New Year and happy cooking! Now this is finally the test to try this.